How it's made, the Vandersteen Audio Trio CT. MDF wood is loaded onto the hydraulic lift to feed the computer controlled saw which cuts all the rectangular and square parts. MDF is a unique engineered product that is very dense at the surface and soft in the middle, making it an ideal material to make loudspeakers. The more complex parts are cut out on a computer controlled CNC router. This part here will be the front baffle of the TRIO CT. The precisely cut parts are then glued and fastened together. If you look closely at the edges, you will see a viscous membrane down the middle of the parts, which creates a box-in-a-box -box effect for the constrained layer dampening. The front baffles are then painted with an epoxy primer to seal the MDF from any moisture that it may encounter. The pre-cut veneer is now ready to go on. The veneer is being applied with an alphetic resin glue before being set in a press to cure. Once cured, the veneer is then carefully trimmed then primed with a lacquer sanding sealer and sanded multiple times before receiving finished coats of furniture grade UV blocking water white lacquer to give it a natural looking finish. The drivers are all then matched to each other within a couple of tenths of a dB. The finished cabinet structure is loaded onto this lift where the previously matched drivers are installed. The wires are soldered onto the driver terminals as are all connections in all Vandersteen speakers. The drivers are screwed in at an even pressure to eliminate vibration and ensure an airtight seal. The speaker then goes into a test chamber, which is accurate from 600 Hz on up. Every Vandersteen speaker will end up going into this chamber. Once the door is closed, the crossover is then dialed in to each individual pair, which have the previously matched drivers installed. You will see winds taking off of a coil here until its value is a perfect fit to give us the response that we are looking for. Once all the parts are set and soldered into this crossover. It is dipped into a wonder dip, which is a conformal coating that reduces microphonics and also protects it from the environment. Once the crossover is dry, the input connector is soldered in using Wonder Solder. The crossover is now complete. The finished crossover is then installed into its corresponding speaker that it was dialed for. The finished plate that has the speaker serial number is installed. And after that, the finished bottom made of a thermal epoxy board is fastened on. The trio is sent down the conveyor line to another chamber for its final test. Driver phase is verified and the speaker is compared to our reference standard which is stored in the computer. The trio is now vacuumed, clean and visually inspected to make sure everything is suspect. They are packed in a custom designed and engineered packing material and strapped down on a pallet to ensure that they arrive at their destination in the same pristine condition as when they left the factory.